You can see that this one is. Whoa. <laughs> This is this is a great brush. It's so good. It's so it's like like it's and you can do this and you can do that and it's everywhere and Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about my favorite makeup brushes. These are the brushes that I would say if I lost all of my brushes, which like <laughs> I have like hundreds of them, so if I lost all of my brushes, these are the ones that I would repurchase to restart my collection because really at the end of the day, if you're not insane like me, these are really the only brushes that you need to do a full face of makeup. To level set our conversation today, I just want to say that like there are a couple of things that are non-negotiables about makeup brushes in my opinion. I don't want to like keep repeating the same message about each of these brushes, so I'm just going to get that part out of the way first. The first criteria that every brush needs to have is that they have to be incredibly soft. So I do not like the concept of like rough brushes like nobody needs to have like scratchy material on your face uh, when you are applying your makeup so bristles have to be super soft and then the second thing about brushes that is like a non-negotiable for me is that it has to be a durable brush brushes have to be able to withstand washing they have to be able to withstand travel i don't want to see any of that like weak ass glue where like all of a sudden the barrel pops out from the handle like I don't want to see any of that with my brushes. Brushes to me are a long-term investment regardless of the price. So those are the two main things that I always look for in my brushes. Obviously the brushes that I'm going to recommend to you guys today are going to be both soft and durable. So yay. All right, let's go ahead and start with our face complexion brushes. If you are looking for foundation brushes, I would look no further than the IT Brushes for Ulta collection. These are some of the best foundation brushes out there on the market. The reason why I really like this is because it smooths your foundation really, really smoothly onto your face. It doesn't streak. And the best thing about this is that because I travel so much, like I'm not one of those people where like I like to pack like one foundation brush per day. Like I want to be able to reuse brushes. And somehow with how densely packed these brushes are, these bristles for some reason, they don't soak up your foundation to the point where like it gets very streaky. Like you can definitely use the same foundation brush for at least three or four times before you're like, okay, I need to switch out my foundation brush and use a new one that doesn't have any existing product on it. Also, I have to talk about the heart-shaped one. They actually release this every single year around the holidays. This is one of my favorite shapes, mostly just because the triangle. It makes it really easy to get in there and do concealer. If you are not looking to bring like an extra brush for concealer, like you can easily use this one and really just kind of fit that in all over your face, like the different crevices and stuff like that. Like very easy to use. Now if you are looking for a smaller brush to use, this is really really good from the brand Zoeva. This is the 110 face shape brush. You can see that obviously compared to like your traditional foundation brush, it's a hell of a lot smaller. This is a really good brush for getting into those tiny little places. Like if you are someone who wants to use a concealer brush, I would highly recommend this one. Typically speaking, when I'm doing somebody else's makeup, I really really like to have a little bit more control with my brushes. So I tend to prefer and gravitate towards brushes that are like much smaller in diameter so that like I can really control exactly where that product goes. This is also amazing for blending out like cream contour or any cream blush. Basically any product that you need that's like a liquid product or a cream product, the Zoeva 110 brush is like perfect for it. And not to mention the shape of this is like very softly domed and so you don't get any of like those stiff edges or anything like that so when you're blending out your makeup everything is just very flawless. When we're talking about um, setting down your under eyes, nothing beats the shape of this Alamar Cosmetics. This is their brightening brush. This is what you can use to literally just get that under eye powder right underneath your eye and really tap a very fine layer of powder underneath to set your concealer. So my favorite thing about this brush, and you can literally see it as I'm holding it this way, is that like this angle is literally freaking perfection for your face right underneath your eye. I do not know how they designed this brush, but I freaking love this. I travel with this brush all the time. Like it is just, oh, it's, it's perfect for setting your under eye concealer. For setting your entire face, I would highly recommend the LaRousse LR360 Tapered Face Brush. I have like five of these, I think. Mostly just because like I'm very lazy, okay? I don't like to wash brushes every week. 
So I tend to just like use a ton of brushes and then I have like a brush washing party like every four weeks or something like that. Anyway, this brush is so, so good for applying your face powder. I like this brush for both loose powders and pressed powders. For pressed powders, I can really just like swirl it into the pan and then swirl it onto your face. For loose powders, I like to use this and grab a little bit of that product, tap off the extra and then really kind of use a tapping motion. And then once I feel like I have that first layer of powder down, then I do really soft swishing motion to just make sure that powder is nicely blended into my face and like this is this is so good the other thing that's really nice about this powder brush as well is that you can actually use this so let's say you've over applied your bronzer or your blush or something like that you're looking kind of like clowny you know what I mean or you have maybe some harsh lines on your face this is the perfect brush to literally just buff out those edges and you are good to go like this is freaking love it also major style points to LaRousse for the studded handle like this is just it feels very luxurious. So for bronzer, I really like a nice, either like very tapered thin brush where I can really get into the hollows of my cheek. This one I would say is better for contour. This is the LR342 Contour Blending Brush from LaRousse as well. This one I use for both bronzer and contour. This is kind of like a multi-purpose brush. You can also use this brush for like blush as well if you want. If you want a thicker highlight application, you can also use this brush. So it's kind of like one of those multi-purpose brushes, if you will. I really like this for when I want my bronzer to be a very precise like application, you know what I mean? Because it is a little bit of a smaller brush head. So you do get to like work right into the hollows of your cheeks and be able to get in there. The other bronzer brush that I really love is actually from Wet n Wild. This is from their Pro line, which is an incredible set of brushes. They actually have a full set where you get 10 brushes for like $40, which is like really, really good if you consider like each brush is $4. It's pretty good math, right? Like this is the perfect dome shape for literally applying bronzer very, very quickly on your face. Now, if I'm trying to do really detailed work, that's when I'll probably reach for the LaRousse brush. But when I'm like in a rush and I'm just like, get my bronzer on there on my brush and just apply it really, really quickly to my face, like this is the brush that I would highly recommend getting. And it's a drugstore price and it's super soft. It's super durable. Like the brush is really cute. It's metallic like this is a big big one from an angled brush that is typically what I use for applying blush to my cheeks so the way that I apply blush is really not it's not on like the apples of my cheeks if you will I like to apply a little bit higher on my cheekbones to give my face a little bit more of a lifted look because otherwise I just look like a large pumpkin. This is the perfect, perfect angled brush. This is actually from ColourPop. This is their F3 brush. This baby has gone with me literally to like all over the world. It is one of my most used, most traveled with brushes, which is honestly why like even you can see like there's a little bit of like a little bit of bristles hanging out here. I've had this brush for at least like I want to say five years and I use it all the freaking time. This is a quality, quality brush from ColourPop. I love the angle of this. It's perfect for applying blush. It's very, very easy to get an even, even amount of color onto your face. And it's one of those brushes where like as you're applying powders, it's so easy to just blend out. It's an effortless brush. You're not going to wind up with like streaks of blush, which is like honestly like my greatest nightmare because I'm not even a very blushy person. So like Everything has to go well when I'm using blush, if that makes sense. The holy grail of all brushes that is like the, I, yeah, this is a brush that I have. Okay, this brush I actually have like, I don't even know how many because I have so many of these because this is one of those brushes I cannot live without. This is from Real Techniques. This is their 402 setting brush. Now, they actually revamped the packaging so you can see I have this one that's like really old and banged up and then this is the newer version of it. Obviously, you can tell, like you can just look at both of these, right? Like aside from the fact that like obviously this has been like dented because it's also traveled with me everywhere, you can see that the shape of this like compared to the new one is literally the same. I don't know how Real Techniques sells their brushes at the amazing price point that they do and then it lasts this long. Like to me, it's just such a like, like what? Like if there is a Real Techniques brush that you absolutely need to get, it is this setting brush. This is a multi-use brush. You can use it for blending out concealer if you wanna use it to like kinda just lightly buff out all of those different edges. 
perfect for that. If you want to use it for setting down your concealer, which by the way, like if you're using this for a liquid product, don't use the same brush for like setting down your powder. Like that's just inevitably not going to work well, but you can also use this for setting down your under eye concealer. And then the other part that's really nice about this, which I probably now just put highlight underneath my eye uh, is because you can also use this as a highlight brush. This is one of those brushes where like, I always pack like two of these with me just because I'm like, well, should anything happen? Or if I accidentally missed packing a brush, like this is such a good multi-use brush. Let's move on to eye brushes really quick. Now the best crease brushes that are out there on the market are from both Zoeva and LaRousse. So from Zoeva, we have the 228 Lux Crease Brush. This is perfect for blending in like your crease color, if that's what you're trying to do. Anytime you have any harsh edges with your eyeshadow or anything like that, you really want to blend it out so it's very seamless. Looks like it just kind of flows into your skin, for lack of a better word. This is the perfect brush for that. This one is also very good. This is from LaRousse. This is the LR120 Tapered Blending Brush. You can see that both of these blending brushes though have just a slightly different shape to it. So depending on how your eye looks, like some people with hooded eyes might prefer something that's a little bit more pointed at the top. You can see this one kind of really comes to a little bit more of a point, whereas this one is a little bit more flat. It really just depends on what you're looking for. I find myself reaching for these brushes for almost the same purpose, but it could depend on, again, the type of eye shape that you have. You also always, always, always need a smaller crease brush to be able to do more detailed work. So this is from LaRousse. This is the LR005 tapered blending brush as well, but this one you can see, and I'll just hold it up for comparison purposes. This one is just slightly smaller in diameter, which means that you can really get into like the detailed part of your eye. So what I usually like to do is I'll use the fluffier one for blending out my crease and putting in kind of that like blending shade in. And then when I want to smoke out my eye, when I'm applying like a deeper color, this is what I'll use and get really into like the outer corners of my eye to get that color to just lay in there. This is literally perfect for doing a smoky eye that is not like super harsh, if that makes sense, right? Like it's a smoky eye, there's a lot of definition, there's a lot of deepness in there, but it's not like there's any harsh lines. There's not a lot of just like boom, there's a line. Like this is absolutely perfect for that. For applying shadow all over your eye, this is the best one that you can find. This is from Zoeva as well. This is their 234 Lux Smoky Shader Brush. My God, this is the perfect flat brush for applying any kind of like metallic, glitter, shimmer, like any formula, like even a matte formula too as well. But like anytime you wanna do any of that work where you're literally just packing on that color all over your eyelid, this is the golden brush to have. This is so, so good. The angle of this is absolutely perfect for hugging literally like the line of your eye. So for example, right, like as you're placing color right here, do you see how the, like the angle of the brush is literally the same angle as like my eye socket, right? If that makes sense. This makes it so, so easy to apply. Like it's not one of those brushes where like you're awkwardly like holding it to like get it to like form to like your eye line so that like everything makes sense and it's just cohesive with your face. This literally does it for you. The best wing liner brush out there on the market, like this is one where like no other wing liner is as good as this brush. This is from Zoeva. This is their 317 wing liner brush. You can do a liner look with powders. You can do a liner look with a liquid product if you'd like. So like if you don't like the brush on a liquid liner, like you can literally take this brush and tap it on that product and grab some of it. You can do that. You can also use this for gel liners as well. Like this will literally give you the most precise and like as the young children would say all right it'll give you like the most snatched liner ever like if you are looking for a wing that's literally like you can cut corners with it and like it's just so precise like this is the liner brush that you absolutely need to get this is also perfect for like if you want to smoke out your lower lash line so obviously right when i'm doing my wing liner i'm going to go this way when i'm starting to work on some of my inner corner stuff this will even get into straight into that corner right oh going the wrong way right into the corner of your eye you can literally just flip this around and it's literally like the perfect angle to be able to get right in there and do very very precise work like this is honestly one of those brushes where i similarly cannot live without this and i also have 
several of these. The last brush we are going to talk about is also from La Rousse. This is their LR109 and this is the perfect under eye smudger brush. So I would use the wing liner brush for smudging if I want like a really thin smudge. But when I want like smoky smoky and I'm like get that color on there, this is what I will use. This is the perfect, perfect flatness and thickness for being able to build that smoky under eye look if that's what you're looking to do. This is also great for let's Let's say if you wanted to use something like this product from Nabla, this is their full color stylo. Like let's say if you drew a line with this and then you wanted to smoke it out, this is perfect for doing that. Like if you use a cream eyeshadow and you're using it as definition work, you can literally take that color and then just go and drag it out and you literally will get like, it's oh, it's perfect for smoking things out. But what I like about it is that it's not so stiff that it's gonna take all of that color that you previously placed down and like wipe it off if that makes sense. It'll literally just help you glide that product and move it around in like the perfect amount, if that makes sense. All right, folks, and that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this crash course on like all of my favorite brushes on the market. I actually wanted to do this like last year, but I completely forgot about <laughs> this idea. So anyway, here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.